Hi everyone, welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this episode I'm going to be painting the two buildings that come with the Band of Brothers starter set. Welcome back and today we're going to be uh, priming and painting the two buildings that come with the Band of Brothers starter set. So I'm going to use the surface primer from Vallejo uh, and this one is a desert tan. Normally I prime everything black, I prefer black, it hides a lot of the mistakes um, so I, I like to go with black but uh, on this one I'm going to use the desert tan and you'll see why in a, in a little while. So I'm going to get on and paint this and I'll come back and show you once I've got the undercoat on. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've been round and I've now undercoated all this. As you can see, it's um, all beige, all the way round. I've got to let this dry, so um, we're going to come back to that one in a little while. And again, that's the bigger building. And um, I've undercoated the fence as well. I've used the same colour, just gone round that little bit of woodwork for the fence. The floorboards I've gone over as well. Um, just hit everything. Now I'm lucky enough I've got an airbrush so it doesn't take too long and it pretty dries as well pretty quick. Uh, but if you haven't just take your time, base everything properly uh, because we're going to be building up from that base colour. So I'll see you in a little while once this lot's dry. Now our building's now dry um, and I'm going to put on a wash. So the reason I went for this highlight colour, this really uh, beige colour, because all the stonework, I'm going to keep that colour. So I'm going to use that base just as, as the base and I'm going to go over with a wash and then we do a bit of dry brushing on there and we'll see how it comes up. So you can watch me now, put this wash on and then you can have a look, see, see the results. Now the wash I'm going to use is the Games Workshop uh, None All. Now you can, if you're doing big buildings, you know, you can make your own washes up. There's some good channels out there that show you how to make washes and stuff. But, you know, for this purpose, I'm just going to use the Nunnall, which is a black colour, a black wash. And we'll have a look, see what kind of results I get on the smaller building. I might use the Agrac Thirst Shade on the other one, if this one's too dark. So let's just see how this comes out. And I'm going to apply this with a big wash brush. And I'm just going to put it on the brickwork. I'm not going to do the edges, not yet, just on the brickwork just to see how that is. And I always tend to put quite a lot on and then just run this in over the top here of all the brickwork. And like I said, you're going to use a lot of this wash, so if you want to make a wash up, you know, make your own washes. Obviously, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Or use the Army Painter one. That works out cheaper as well. And as you can see, just putting that over. And that really does fill up all those gaps. Goes in all of the nooks and crannies. fills that up nice and that will give us a good base to do some dry brushing on this model now I've just washed the first one so that's black I've put plenty on so we're gonna have to let that dry so I'm gonna have to come back uh, and give that a good while to dry now so um, I might not be able to finish this as quickly as I wanted to do um, the black I thought come out a little bit too dark so I've gone in with uh, a brown wash this one so I've gone in with a brown wash on this one and again I put plenty on so I'm going to have to let that dry now um, I was hoping to do this a little bit quicker but um, it's not going to so I'm going to let those dry and um, I'll see you in a little while now all the wash is uh, completely dry I'm now going to start blocking in a few bits of the colour that I want on the model so we're going to do this, the uh, woodwork in a wood and I've got two colours I'm going to use. I've got uh, a light brown, I've got a pale sand, uh, a black grey 
These are for all uh, Vallejo model colour. And um, I'm going to put some of those on. I'm going to show you where to put them and how that works. So. As you can see, I've now done all the woodwork. I've put a little bit of uh, brown into the rubble as well, that I think that would be timber, so I've painted that brown. This is just a flat brown that I've got on here with, so this is a dark colour. Uh, the roof timbers, the floor timbers that we put in, I've now painted, and I've also painted the fence as well. So now I'm going to go and do the smaller building, and then I'll show you that one. And there you go, so this is all the timber done as well, so I've put the brown on there, like I say, just a flat brown, I've just put plenty of coverage on, picked out a few little bits in the rubble as well, just to highlight that, just to show that up a little bit more, and we'll bring the highlights up on that in a little while. So I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to paint some of these slates as well, I'm going to use the, uh, where are we, the black grey for that. Now I've painted the tiles, you can start to see the building's really taking shape. So I've done these ones on the small building, so they look okay. And the ones on the bigger building, again, I've just put the grey on, just gone around there, get some coverage on there now. And now I'm going to fill in some of this plaster work with the two colours that I've chosen, the light brown, and I'm going to go with a pale sand and not a white. So I'm going to put that on, and um, let's see how they look. I've just gone around the model now, picked out some of the plaster work with the PAL sand on here. So it's not too visible at the moment because we haven't dry brushed anything yet, but it does make a difference and you can really see that coming along now. Now I've gone round all the big building with the light brown, or the, yeah, light brown. Uh, all the plaster work really shows up on this one. I prefer this lighter wash, this uh, this Agra Fleur shade rather than the black. I think it shows out a little bit better, all the colours coming out now. So that's the plaster work done, and also just a little bit of detail. I've splodged just a little bit of the light brown around in the rubble as well and we're going to pick that out again in a little while so as you can see it's coming along um, for the next bit now I really need to wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'm going to put some shadows on with an airbrush so I'll show you that in a bit okay I've got some black in my airbrush and I'm just going to go around now and uh, put a little bit of shadow around the bombed areas where I think it might be a little bit darker um, apart from where where the wash hasn't picked it up quite right so let's just have a, a little play with this if you haven't got an airbrush you can dry brush this just just take a little bit longer just uh, just a black very fine black and then just go around 
highlight it just gently go round and round and round and you'll you'll pick the pattern up as you go And also while I've got the airbrush here, I'm going to put a little bit of black on these boards and on the roof as well, just to pick up a little bit of highlight in there, or shadow. Okay, I think that's enough for the bigger building. And now I'm gonna move on to the smaller one. Okay, I've been bound both buildings now with the black. And like I say, you can dry brush this on, put some put some black on your brush, just gently start going around all the gaps, uh, the, the broken bits of your building, and you'll gradually get that darker and darker and how you want it to be. So I've just gone around quickly around some of the openings and put some shadow in there as well I've hit the brown woodwork with the airbrush as well and on the smaller one I've done the same so I've gone around here hit the brown woodwork done the bomb bits as well where it's darker should be darker where it may be on fire um, so there we go so I'll pick that up now so the next stage now is uh, to, to do some highlighting I think um, I want to maybe change a little bit of this as well so I'll get back to you in a minute now I'm just picking out the uh, side stones on the buildings. I've gone with uh, the black grey and I'm just gently going down with a dry brush again just to bring out some of the highlight on that. Darken it down a little bit. It was a bit too bright. So I'm just darkening that down with a dry brush. And you can see straight away that's it's just picking out that detail. It's made it look a lot, lot better already. And that's all it's about, really. Just trying to pick his pick stuff out as you move around your building. If you think that you know you'd want to dry brush something, put a little bit of dry brush on it. You can always highlight it back up again if it's wrong. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just what you like and what you think looks good. So you know, play with your techniques how you want to do it and there you go so a really darky grimy colour on there and I'm going to do the same on the chimney as well and then once I've done that I'm then going to go over with a dry brush with a buff a buff colour just to try and pick some of the highlight it back up again And I'll show you what that looks like. That's it, that looks a lot better now. There we go, it's just all about playing with it. I'm going to go around the windows. Um, they would be a different colour stone to the rest of the building. Go. I'm quite happy with that now, it's coming along well. Missed the little bit of chimney up the top there, so I'm going to have to go back and 
play with that. I hope you can see now, it's really coming along. And, uh, I'm going to do the small building, and then I'll show you a little bit of highlighting with the buff. Now, just <clears throat> going to do some dry brushing with a buff colour. I've got a nice big brush here. Just dry that off your best you can. I'll start off with the small building. Uh, just go on. If you, if you feel that it's a little bit too too heavy, just go light, very light to start with. You might have to go back round. But then just pick some of this highlight up. On here on the rubble as well um, a chance now to do some of the wood inside just to pick a little bit of that highlight up so we've had the wood color we had the uh, the brown on then I dry brushed it a little bit with the black with the airbrush I put a little bit of black on the airbrush and now I'm just going over with the buff again on the wood on the wood on the roof and on the tiles as well I'm going to use the buff just to highlight those tiles all round. You know, do what you feel is right, what you think looks right. Like I say, there's no right or wrong way. You just want your train to look nice on the table. Uh, try and blend some of this rubble in. I might put a little bit more wash over here later. Uh, depending how it's going. There we go, that doesn't look too bad at all. Now that's the smaller building, and I'm going to do exactly the same on the bigger one, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now on the bigger one, dry brush again. Just going round, pick up some of this highlight if you feel it's a bit too dark. Too bad to be honest. I go around the rubble. Now then, time to work on the bases. Now, this is just tabletop uh, terrain, so you know, scatter terrain. I just want to get it on the table as quick as I can. We've put a little bit of work into it, we've put a bit of colour in there, we've dry brushed stuff. It's looking quite good to me, I think, to go on the table. Be happy with that. Now, I'm going to work on, on the ground. So, in this tub here, I have got tea leaves so this is going to be my dirt um, the tea leaves come from Poundland just go down there buy a big box of tea open them up pour them into your tub so that's what I'm going to use there and I've got PVA glue just to put it down with so I'll show you that you can see the results of that and then you can decide for yourself if that's something you want to do so now I'm going to put some dirt here, so I'm just going to go in with a PVA, I don't water it down, it's going to go on neat, you can water your PVA down if you want, I'm just going to put some in here, again, just in the gaps, it doesn't matter if you go over the boards a little bit, um, the dirt, the tea leaves will just rub off afterwards if you feel that it looks too dreadful and you've gone over too much but you do want them in the gaps if you can try and get some dirt in the gaps of these boards and I'll just show you the glue what I'm doing here so we're just putting it down right up into the boards into those gaps into the gaps in there as well Where we haven't painted and like I say that the dirt the tea leaves will just rub off the boards they won't be stuck too hard down as it's drying you can just get them off so it just levels everything up there we go I think I've got everything there
<coughs> so get your tea leaves, sprinkle them in. Uh, this is a little bit of a mixture in here now, where I've done some static grafts as well. So it's a little bit of a mixture of everything, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. you can see there you've got good coverage all over everything now I'm just going to take another brush and just wipe it off some of these floorboards that we've put down now we have the big building done as well I've put the dirt in there the tea leaves are in there a little bit more around the fence line and now we can go in with a, a flock or a static grass, whatever you prefer for your for your uh, base. Whether you want to sand and paint it uh, or a gravel, you know that's up to you guys. You can put what you want. I've got I've got this green, like a wood chipping flock type stuff, uh, which I'm going to put down. Um, I think it may be a little bit bright, but it's what I've got, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to do one and then I'll show you guys the results. So this is just the last bit of glue going around the outside of the big base. And then I'm going to put the green on. Put the grass on so you can see it. Like I say the grass is definitely a little bit brighter than I would like. But it's all I've got at the moment, so I'm going to go with it. And um, everybody's board is different. All the different colour grasses, they all match in in the end. So I'm going to go around. You can see I've put plenty on. All the way around there. And I'll take my tub of grass. And then just put that on. I do pat it on now and again. Just make sure that stays there. Sprinkle it on. Pat it down. It is a little bit messy. Maybe this grass is just a little bit bright, but it'll do. So we'll let that dry, and then <clears throat> I'm going to add a couple of bushes just to finish it off, and, and I'll show you those once that's dry. Okay, so I've cut the hedge up into some smaller parts. And I'm going to be using that. I also use the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, brushes as well. These are quite expensive, but you do get a lot of it. You know, if you're for basing uh, troops and stuff, for putting on models. Um, you know, this is this is 13 quid. I got this from the local hobby shop, so it is quite dear. But like I say, you do get a lot of it, and you know, normally you're you're sparing with it. You don't normally use loads, so it lasts you a long time. So I'm going to put some of these bushes on. I'm going to super glue them down. So just have a look where you're going to put them. Uh, place a couple. Just give yourself an idea where you might want them. And how your model's going to look. Okay, so you don't normally need a load. See, that looks, that looks fine to me. Just a couple there. Um, yeah, so that, that looks good. So I'm just going to get some super glue and glue these down in there. That one, and then one there, like that. Now, 
I've got two colours in this scenic. I've got a dark green and the light green. So sometimes I mix them up depending on the base I've got. So I'm just going to take a little clump of the light green. And again, you don't need loads of it. I'm going to put a little bit round by the door. Just there. I'll put a little bit in there. And I'm going to put a larger clump just round here. I think it needs something there. Yeah, you see that's quite effective now. You can see that's coming along around by the door. Um, a little bit more there. And one more piece here, I think. And that is the smaller building. So I think that's done. I'm going to let that completely dry. So I'm going to do one more, do the bigger one. And I'll show you doing that as well. And that's coming along really well. Okay, now on to the bigger building. Um, and again, I'm just using super glue. I'm going to just go round and glue a few pieces on that I think that will look good in these places again it's up to you there's no right or wrong way put them on where you think that would look good And the good thing with these with these as well is you can always go back and trim them if you, if you think it's too big you can always just get your scissors out and just just trim off some of this stuff if you, if you, you know if you think you've put, oh, I've put too big a clump there you can always go back and play with it okay so looking good Take a little bit more of this these bushes and then place these on but if you do get down to your local model shop they'll have different bushes different sizes all different sort of stuff have a look for the in the train people who make the train stuff there's always good scenic stuff with a train hobby shop there you go We're almost done on this one. I've just got to scrape these boards off so you can see the boards back in there. And I'm quite happy how that is. So I'm going to leave that, let that dry. And the next time I come back with you, hopefully it'll all be finished. Okay, and a final look at our two buildings that we've done from the Bolt Action Band of Brothers starter set. As you can see, they come out really well. Really pleased with them. So they look nice on the tabletop.
So, well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you leave some comments, of course, subscribe, and um, hopefully, I'll be back with some more. And I'll see all you guys soon. Thank you very much.